In today's double lesson, you are completing a formative assessment. Now, remember, don't be stressed about this. This is just for us to see what you're learning about how you're writing and what you're learning about Macbeth as well. Your last lesson completed this week um, worked on preparing for this, so you should be prepared. Just to remind you of what that looks like, go through and make sure that you have this assessment, or sorry, this lesson up on your screen, because down here, um, you've already looked at the question, which is right here, and you should have also completed this box. And what you're going to use is this box and the answers, your ideas and the quotations that you've put in. Also on this paper, you've got lots of different ideas that you could be using as well. Um, and you may have filled in this blank where you did some planning for today. So remembering that the question is all about the relationship between Banquio and Macbeth. You're going to write a thesis statement. Let's go back to this over here. You're going to write a thesis statement. Um, you might choose to define the word relationship. Um, and then your second sentence is where you're going to write a statement about the, the way or the, um, the adjectives used to describe the relationship. So, for example, if you think it is a, a positive relationship full of tenderness and care, that's what you would put in your second sentence. All right, a few notes here. I've put in the exam timings just so that you can start thinking about that ahead of your GCSE exams next year. But for the purpose of our virtual lesson, you have a double lesson today. Um, so you should be writing a thesis and three what, how, why paragraphs. And I've included everything you need in this document. So let me just walk you through it. Here are some instructions, just a reminder of the structure and the sentence starters. Then you have a reminder of the frame for your what, how, why paragraphs. And again, the sentences that are highlighted are actually your sentence starters. And then on this page is a reminder of the question. And then here, if you'd like to do your planning, I think it's always really good to plan out your what you're going to say, your statement, the quotes that you're going to use, and then maybe you've got some ideas about why Shakespeare has used that. You can jot this in on this planning sheet. And then actually begin typing your response on this page, which is page five. Okay, I hope you find that helpful. Really looking forward to reading these and seeing how you get on. Bye.